All right, here we go. This is uh, my first touch design tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna create that audio wheel check all that you can see being like created there in the background. And I'm just gonna show you what the outcome can be here. So this, this song says by Nils Fram. Uh, basically, it's like one song or a song in one image. All right. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna briefly explain the concept before we dive in. As you can see here, there's this line going in a like rotating around the center, just going round and round. And the line represents the frequency spectrum of the song. And um, with a feedback loop, we achieve achieve it so that it's like drawing the like drawing each frame, or not just each frame, but it stays there basically. So we have like yeah, this image. Um, just gonna pause this. So before I uh, I delete everything, I just wanna um, tell you <laughs> uh, here that that the width on the project container is 1080 by 1080 on, on my project. You can take whatever you want, but that's uh, just how I go. It's how I roll, and on this one at least. And yeah, so we're just gonna rebuild the whole thing and go through it step by step. And I delete this. Goodbye. All right, so the first thing is a, an audio file in because that's what we base everything on. And we're gonna attach that to null. So there we go. All right, so that's the, the start. You can see, um, yeah, it's playing. I'm, I'm not gonna add a device because that's kind of uh, annoying uh, after some time. And the null, I'm gonna put a math after that because we have uh, two channels now. You could you could put just two mono, then we just have one, but then also the output later is gonna be mono. So I'm just gonna do it that way. So in the math and the combined channels, you just select add, and now you have one, <coughs> one line, one channel. And um, yeah, I found this neat little trick uh, on the touch designer documentation. And that's basically just attaching an envelope here and setting its width to the maximum or just very high, which is 10 here. And to the math, I'm just gonna attach another, another math. And now the envelope, I'm gonna attach that to the math too. And it's important that the line is like the, the one underneath, like, yeah. And here in the math too, I'm gonna select divide and the combined chops. So now what we have here is uh, a normalized, roughly normalized uh, <coughs> value. So um, whatever you put in here, so like uh, whatever song or uh, image, uh, not image, or whatever song or audio device, whatever volume it has, like this way it's gonna be normalized between minus one and one roughly. So it's definitely very helpful. So the next step is um, putting or attaching an audio spectrum to the math. And here I, for, for this project at least, I wanna change the FFT size to the maximum, so 16 something. And rename the whole thing to something else, not gen one, but something like, I don't know, spec. Spectre, Spectre, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so um, next step, resampling. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. For now, we just turn off the time slice and change the method to new rate and new interval. <clears throat> Attach this to a merge, or merge and uh, attach that again to null. And this one we're gonna call instances. That's just what I do. 
and because um, we're going to use instancing to create that uh, audio spectrum line thingy. So so much to the audio. That's that's kind of all you need to do with the audio. And uh, now I'm gonna set up the sops being used. So <clears throat> first you take a grid. Or I take a grid. I guess you also take a grid. So um, here we're gonna change the size x to 30 and leave it at one, the size y. Gonna change the rows to one and the columns to 250. That is not 250, all right. So 250 is gonna be like, or the columns is gonna be kind of the resolution of the, of the line. So what I'm gonna attach here is a null again, and that null we're gonna convert to a chop with the sop to chop. Sop to chop. All right, so now we have the coordinates basically in a in a, in a, a chop. And we want to resample. I'm going to come back here. The resample, like we want to resample this, the, the audio spectrum to the length of the grid. So I'm just going to put it in there. Um, yeah, so it's resampled and also going to attach this here. So now we um, merge uh, these two things together and we have we have all the, the stuff we need in the instances here. More than we need. We just need the TX and the Spectre. All right. So next step is going to be a rectangle. And this rectangle, I'm going to connect it to transform and put that to 0 0.1. And with the uh, yeah, connect that to a geo, a geometry. And what we also need is a camera here for rendering. And another thing we need for rendering is a material or a light, but I'm gonna use a constant material just because we don't need a light in this one. <coughs> All right, I'm just gonna drop that on there. Um, on the material, I'm gonna put the blending on, like turn that on. Uh, and I'm also going to come back to this later. And on the camera, I'm going to change the Z uh, translate thing to 70. All right, so far so good. Now on the Geo, we want to we wanna instance. Or we want to use instancing. Uh, so I'm going to turn that off in the instance tab and drop the instances in there in here. And now for the translate X, we're going to use the TX from the grid. And what we also want is the, the colors to change. So on the instance two tab, we uh, change all like we can leave, leave this on replace and the uh, just put the specter thing should have taken a better name. Spectre is kind of <laughs> too bit to pronounce. All right, so all of these, uh, yeah, just put that in everywhere. Uh, and now we want to render this. So I'm going to put a render top here. And yeah, before I do anything else, I'm going to put uh, its resolution to the same values as its container. So as I said in the beginning, it's 1080 by 1080 or whatever you chose. And I'll attach that to null once again. Drag that over here and change that to BG. And um, yeah, what you also want, if you want to look at it closely, here in the look, look tab, change that also to BG. Okay, so, so good. So good. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, here in the geo, like I'm going to turn turn this off uh, on <laughs> and put a look up here actually. So that's going to help with the background being black instead of checkerboards. So just do it that way. So now we see that line in the background better. What I'm going to do is 
attach a device out here. You don't have to do this, but it's just so you can see that it's actually being represented. I'm gonna turn that off now again. And uh, yeah, and the Geo, oops. In the Geo, we're, we're gonna go to the X form, X form tab. And there uh, I want the grid, like I want the grid size X. So yeah, you go to the grid, you take the grid size, like you, you right click on here, say uh, copy parameter and put that into here. So here, pass reference. You can also type it in there, but I'm lazy, so I don't do that. So this we uh, want to divide by two. And in the pivot px thing, we also want to have that same thing divided by minus two. So what we're basically doing here is um, shifting the rotation axis point or rotation reference point from the center of the grid to the beginning of the grid that's important because otherwise it's gonna like spin around itself and we don't want that i don't want that at least <laughs> i don't i don't know what you want so um so far so good what we want to do now is to actually have it rotate how do we do that um here with the middle mouse um no not actually there here the middle mouse i'm gonna um Attach an info chop. So that info chop gives us certain, as you can guess, information about the song. So we just want two values from it. So I'm gonna um, attach a select chop, and here I just want the. Just gonna copy that. You just want the fraction. Uh, wait. Oh, you actually have to attach it to the audio file. That's quite important. <laughs> okay, so attach the info to the audio file in. And now what I want here is fraction. And here I want the sample. I'm gonna get back to this in a minute. And here with the select, like this, what this fraction thing basically is, is a normalized value between zero and one. So the length of the song between zero and one. And we want to map that value. So I'm going to take a map and in the range, change the, the range from zero to one to zero to 360. So it's a circle basically. And attach that once again to a null. So now <coughs> we can take that value and use that as a rotation value. <laughs> Um, so here we want to rotate on the x axis, uh, z axis. So we can just drag and drop that in there. Say chop reference. And now you can see here in the background it's like rotating around. And uh, yeah, what I also want to do here is I personally like it to go clockwise. So I just say times minus one. And as you can see now, it's uh, going the other way around. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, just scoop this over here, is to add a feedback loop. So I'm going to drop a composite here, set that to add. And here with the middle mouse again, I'm just going to add another like a, a feedback top connect it to the comp and drag the comp on the feedback to create that loop. And now you can see it's already being drawn there. So it's we're kind of getting there. Well, we're basically already there. <laughs> the only thing we need to do now, uh, like two things we need to do now. First thing is when I pulse this, like the feedback is uh, stays there and also it starts there. So I'm just going to change the rotation here to plus 90. So when I pulse it, 
palts it. It starts at the at the top, just like a weird kind of abstract clock. And now what we also want is the feedback to restart when the song restarts. So now you can see it's like being drawn over here. So now what I'm gonna do here with the sample, as you can see when I pulse this, that it's like uh, always, yeah, it's never at zero. So what I wanna do is trigger something. So you attach the trigger chop here, put that to 1500. It's kind of a hack I did. Maybe you find a better way, but it's just how I do it now. Uh, and that the trigger on thing to decreasing values. And now what you can see when I pulse this is that it's being triggered. It's not perfect, but it's like it works. And it's definitely enough for this cause. So now turn this to active, select the feedback top and drag this onto the pulse button and say chop reference. Um, what this does now when I chop this, uh, pulse this, that the feedback is being like reset every time. All right, so I'm just gonna turn on the audio so you can see that better. Maybe I'm just gonna take a different song. I'm gonna pulse this. Okay, now you can see it's like drawing on there. What we also want to do now maybe here on the constant is change the alpha to maybe 0 0.5. So it's not that like too bright. And another thing you, c you can do is drop a level here at the end. So you're, uh, you can change now like the, the gamma, for example, gamma. And um, yeah, so you can just see more. Maybe not too much. That's not gonna be pretty. Oh yeah, there you go. I think that's about it. One last thing I can show you is how to change the color. It's very simple. Here you just select the, you know, the, the white part, and you know, just change this to blue or something if you feel like it, or green or whatever. All right, I'm just gonna leave it at white. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any wishes, what I, what you want me to like make a tutorial on, just leave it in the comments. Or if, if there's anything you want to complain about, <laughs> and also leave that in the comments. Otherwise, I uh, see you on the next one.